Hello. Have you ever wondered what open science means in your daily work as a researcher at EPFL? Here are some informational tools that will help you to make open science in practice. According to Foster, open science is the movement to make scientific research, data and dissemination accessible to all levels of an inquiring society. Therefore, open science means transparency, public availability and reusability, public accessibility of scientific communication, web-based tools. During your daily research process, you have to follow four simple steps. Step 1. Be aware of the Open Science Framework. Consider DPFL Open Access Policy. Be compliant with funders' open science requirements, as for example SNSF and Horizon 2020 policies. Plan your research project to be as open as possible, as close as necessary. Step 2. Manage and open your research data. First of all, set up a data management plan using the templates provided by PFL Library. You also have to choose appropriate formats for your research data. You can refer to the recommended file format guide. Describe them with documentation and rich metadata. Have a look to the Metadata Fast Guide for more information. Don't forget to store your data securely through the PFL VPSI storage facilities. To define a preservation plan, and to estimate your data management cost with the cost calculator created by EPFL Library. Step 3. Make code reproducible by following these three advices. Use a code versioning tool. Describe the code and make it available along with data to guarantee research reproducibility. Step 4. Share research outputs and make them accessible. Get funds to publish in a gold open access journal with dedicated EPFL Library fund. Publish your articles in Green Open Access, depositing a version in InfoScience, the PFL institutional repository. Use the author amendment to negotiate your rights to publish in Green Open Access. And choose the most suitable repository to share your research data. For each research output, apply the right license, using, for example, the publication decision tree for data. Finally, don't forget to use digital permanent identifiers. This is just an overview of the tools that can help you to make open science at PFL. But many more services and resources are available to support you. Do not hesitate to contact EPFL Library or visit our website to find more useful information. <laughs>